Welcome. Now I can show you how to use Activity Monitor on macOS Sonoma. So um, our Activity Monitor is the same like in Windows when you're clicking Control Shift Escape. So this is the same activity. Uh, this is the same feature. So you need to find Activity Monitor, and here we have. So what we have here. Uh, what does we have here? Here we have CPU, uh, memory, energy, disk, and network. So, um, as you can see, uh, here we have additional features like uh, spin dump, for example. Uh, wait a while. So it's pending. So back to this future letter so here we have system diagnostic uh, spotlight diagnostic for example privacy agreement okay 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 you can run the, uh, the diagnostic of the spotlight spotlight is your search and indexing of your old system so what we have here in spin dump so this is the uh, information about locks in your system uh, so spotlight diagnostic is can take a while, so I will cancel it. So sorry, but if you want, you can you can do it. But unfortunately, it's not for normal users. It's it's for I don't know why someone need that. Okay, so without that, so what we can uh, see here in this application, like normal Apple macOS user. So here we have CPU, uh, CPU capacity and CPU uh, status. For example, now uh, my system use only um, four, between four and maybe even between two and six percent of my uh, processor capacity. And I am like a user use um seven six percent so what the system and what the user so system is just system process uh like a kernel for example or windows server uh, and i can't regulate that so i can't change that uh, but for example uh, system activity monitor is like a user as you can see here is my uh um, my name and, and, and second name so it's like, like I am like a user um, opened this uh, and started this process for example but root is the system process and as you can see there are a lot of system processes that are very 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 um, important for your macOS work and I suggest you now to disable this process, okay? And cool, so here we have CPU, uh, we can sort it from minimal uh, using of CPU or from maximum using, for example, Windows Server use a lot of CPU. Now I'm recording this video and it uh, use less CPU performance than uh, the Windows Server, sometimes, of course. Okay, what about memory? Memory is our RAM, it's not the storage, because storage we have in disk. Uh, this is the memory, our RAM. I have only 8 gigabytes of, um, of internal RAM. And now my laptop, I have, uh, on, uh, I have MacBook Air M1, and now my laptop use 6 gigabytes of all my memory and i have one gigabyte of cached files so these files are saved uh, in my internal storage and my laptop is use these files uh, when it need and i have uh, swap files so i have swap file swap file is it's like a file that you have on your internal disk storage, not in the memory. And your 
system use this file like a part of your memory so i don't know how to explain it but cached files are saved are stored uh, cache files files stored in swap okay app memory wired memory and compressed it's all in memory used so you can check for example so apps applications used uh, for example two gigabytes right now and compressed file i have co compressed i have two and fifty eight and here you can see the process and in the same way you can uh, sort it for example uh, by the tweets, by the ports, by the PID, I don't know what the PID, by the user too. So for example, I wanna um, sort it by the user and for example now Chrome use uh, the most memory, uh, performance memory capacity. And if you wanna uh, stop the process, any process you wanna stop, you can click on it twice and just click quite quite or for, force quite as like and it will stop the chrome process and okay chrome process was successfully disabled but as you can see here on macOS device um, it works in in a little different way so for example i can have opened several uh, Chrome windows and it will display to you like several uh, Chrome processes uh, and in this way for example I can disable one Chrome process but I can still have enabled another one and it's very 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 helpful and the same situation we have with the bots app for example I can disable it can quiet it uh, and with any other application what about energy uh, here we can see the status of course here we can see the disk uh, disk capacity so it uh, it's like so your disk has the speed with speed of uh, transferring files and your system is always all even when your uh, laptop is on hold so uh, system is always moves uh, files uh, from one place in the disk storage to the other place and it's normal it's okay and for example as you can see uh, right now for example my system is it's making something but when i open for example uh, application it will load it from the and now we need to open the activity monitor as you can see um, now uh, this was work of my of my disk because uh, system loads application from my uh, from my disk and this was the the moment where uh, when uh, application was loaded uh, and the same station with the network so here we can check uh, which applications now using uh, network and with which speed for example mdns responder user mdns respond how looks strange i don't know what is that but i hope it's okay uh, and um, and here you can check for example uh, application that i use uh, using your network right now and in this way you can identify viruses for example uh, and in this way you can identify which applications use your network right now so maybe okay maybe maybe that's it maybe it's all you need about about this application of course in um, in the settings you can change the view uh, for example all process process hierarchically my process only for example or other settings uh, filter process you can filter it you can 
Um, so maybe, 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 maybe the cheat. Uh, of course, we can open the page setup. Here we can change the scaling, for example. Boom, and other settings, but we don't need it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I hope this video was helpful for you. And bye. See you.